Instagram question. Protein shake, does it need to be consumed a maximum of 45 minutes post training for the best effect? So the theory behind the anabolic window is that protein timing immediately after your workout is crucial if you want to maximize muscular adaptations. Some people believe that the timing of this is actually more important than total daily intake. So the primary goals behind consuming protein immediately post-workout, either solo or in conjunction with carbohydrates, were to replenish muscle glycogen, raise muscle protein synthesis, spike insulin levels and suppress cortisol. And this theory helped create a wave of people who upon completing their workout would slam a protein shake faster than a tequila shot on a Saturday night. And these theories do have some research to support them. Carbohydrate ingestion immediately after a workout resulted in faster muscle glycogen storage versus waiting two hours. And ingesting protein alongside carbohydrate has been shown to stimulate muscle protein synthesis more than carbohydrate ingestion alone. So, slam dunk. Not quite. See, although some of this research does support the idea of consuming protein immediately post-workout, a lot of it is compared to carbohydrates or placebo. So of course, consuming some protein is better than consuming no protein. It doesn't technically support the idea of strict nutrient timing per se. Also, research conducted on people in a fasted state doesn't necessarily translate to people who are training in a fed state. And primarily, this is all short-term data. What we care about is long-term data, i.e., does it help you build more muscle? So to test this, a 10-week study had one group of people consuming a protein shake pre-workout and another group consuming a protein shake post-workout. And there were no differences in terms of body composition at the end of the trial. So this supports the notion that total daily intake is more important than post-workout protein timing alone. So whilst the anabolic window used to be extremely hyped up, it makes sense to be cautious towards these over-exaggerated claims. For most people, if you're consuming protein at regular intervals throughout the day, there probably isn't a crucial need to slam a protein shake within 0.8 seconds of finishing your last set. All of your gains won't immediately be sacrificed to the gym gods. However, if you are training later again that day, or you're training fasted, the importance of post-workout nutrition will increase. So in short, although the urgency of immediate protein post-workout consumption is debatable, in the absence of more research on the topic, I think it is still a good fail-safe solution to consume protein pre and post-workout.